So I've got to move this log here that you guys can't see yet and cut it up. We're gonna try to do it with a full size SUV and no hitch. So I'm gonna take this tow strap here, throw it away like an idiot. Take this, maybe hook it, we'll see. We'll hook it. So, this thing should only weigh way more than what I want it to. So, that's fine. And I'm just going to take it and hook it onto my safety chain receivers. You hear me crack my ankle right there? Yeah, rolled the crap out of it the other day. And now it's two times the size of what it should be. And incredibly sore. So then we're just gonna take this and wrap it around here until I can get it to where my safety chains are supposed to go. I just need to haul it a little bit, but it's too big for me to pull with my hands. Cause I'm a fist. One more time, here we go. All right, here's the rig. Redneck as ever, let's get it. So basically here's the rig. This truck is four wheel drive. So I hooked this log up to it. It was over there. Put it in four low, drag it all the way over here into that grass, but down into here and over towards my grandfather's garden. So now I'm gonna get a chainsaw and cut this into probably foot, foot and a half long sections and stack it up over there. So I'll get you back when I get the chainsaw. All right, so I have now adjusted the tension on this chainsaw blade and then I moved the truck so that I could record better and now I'm gonna cut this thing up so I was country born born here in Southern Kentucky and raised in Houston, Texas. So, country born, city raised, and then I moved back to the country. Now, I have continued to be a boot wearing, jean wearing, hat wearing kid. I just haven't done a lot of stuff like this. I've done a little bit of it, but not a lot. So, I've never adjusted my own chain on chainsaw. Never done anything like that. So this is my first time doing that. Had a weird experience, tightened it too much. Had to loosen it a little bit because it was literally like, it was so tight on the bar that when I would start the chainsaw, it would automatically die because it couldn't spin the chain. Well, not when I would start it, but when I would hit the throttle, it would automatically die because it couldn't spin the chain. So now I have it fixed. I'm gonna cut one or two pieces off, stop the recording, and get back to y'all when I finish cutting this tree up. So. <laughs> right. So I got it cut up. I'm gonna load it in the back of the expedition and then take it over there, because I'm fat and lazy. Okay, so my mom is gonna kill me because this is a limited expedition that has been taken pretty good care of. And I'm about to put cut logs in the truck for a car. But I don't really, I'm not too worried about it, honestly. I'm not gonna mess anything up. Yeah. Okay, these are a lot lighter than I thought they were gonna be. Actually, honestly, ideal for firewood. 
because they're light. I got it all stacked. I gotta clean that, shut that, and finish the job. So, I kind of made a mess. It's all right, we're gonna clean it up. Truck's cleaned out, vacuum put up. Time to go to sleep.